next at 5.30, a Gold Star military mother gets a helping hand from the community. Suffolk resident Carrie Caldwell lives in a home that needs some work. Today, local realtors, businesses, and Habitat for Humanity all came together to lend a hand in honor of Caldwell's son. Ten on your side's Maria Elena Valores joins us with more on what these volunteers did and why. Not well, 73-year-old Carrie Caldwell has a long list of things to do in her home. Her daughter recently reached out to the local VFW to see if anybody could help. Today, thanks to a group of local volunteers, that list got a lot smaller. It's a sight Carrie Caldwell never expected to see. I just can't believe it. It's amazing. 125 volunteers donating their time and money to fix up her Suffolk home. I'm trying to soak it all in. <laughs> it's just amazing. You know, I had no idea they was going to be doing all this. Organizers with Realtors Have a Heart coordinated this volunteer project. In a new kitchen, it was in disarray new flooring, new paint throughout. Teaming up with local businesses and the local chapter of Habitat for Humanity to get to work. She had a fire uh, in her baseboard heating. Uh, what has happened as part of uh, this is that there's a completely new electrical panel has been put in. But it wasn't the fire or the long list of improvements that made Caldwell's home their pick. He was a wonderful son. He was a really, really good person. Her son, Corporal Jonathan Matthew Williams, died while serving overseas with the Army in Operation Desert Storm back in 1991. He was in a in the barracks that was hit and uh, that was very devastating for me I, I just couldn't believe it it's still hard for Caldwell and her daughter to think of Williams but this act of kindness means a lot sometimes you know you think people forget it's been a long time yeah. and to see that you know they're, they're willing to come and give their time I just can't believe it. Caldwell knows her son is smiling down on this project. He would have been so happy to see all this. Only wishing he was there to do it himself. That's all he talked about was coming home to take care of his mama. A small sacrifice from these volunteers in honor of the man who gave the ultimate sacrifice. Organizers say JES jumped in at 5 o'clock this morning because another company was suddenly unable to cover the expenses. Now they are still looking for a business to help out with the heating and cooling system repairs. We'll have ways that you can help on wavy.com. I'm Marilena Belores, 10 on your side. And now